Hi everyone, welcome. Today I'm designing a cartoon character, and I had no prior ideas or sketches of what to design, so let's see what we can come up with. This time I'm starting with a cylinder and just pushing around the mass until I get a feel for what I'm making. In the very beginning it almost looks like a chest bust, but then I added some eye indents, a nose, and a mouth. The mouth almost had an Abe Lincoln beard feeling to it, so I went with that, just playing around with it, and then shaped it out a bit more. I extended the head and added a rough idea of where the hair would be. At this point, my design was still rough. I just wanted to get a feel of the basic shape. After that, I worked on the cheeks a bit more and shaped out the mouth a little further. I played around with the lip shape quite a bit. Reference images are key as you'll see later on. I know from past designs that cutting away the area and then re meshing it doesn't work quite as well and leaves a blob of mesh where I want a nice crisp gap. So for this I hid the part of the mouth I didn't want and then used the Q-Mesh tool with the stitch option and stitch the edge to the other side. It worked out perfect. From there I used the Dynamesh to get more polygons to work with. Here we're adding in the eyes, just again with a basic sphere shape. I find adding eyes at an early stage helps build the character as he's staring at you throughout the rest of your work. But the eyes I find help shape the character and who they are. Readjusting the eye area. tip is that if you plan on working on part of your mesh and don't want to destroy the area around it, mask off the areas you don't want to affect. You can also click on the mesh when masking to get a smoother fall off of the mask. You can also change the mask settings in the masking palette. Here's a rough ear shape, we'll get back to this later. I ended up grabbing a mirror and designed the ears roughly after mine. I just wanted a general shape to go by. Maybe someday I'll get around to designing a 3D version of myself, who knows? I still wasn't very happy with the cheeks and the lips, so I kept working on those with the move brush. For the eyes, at this time, I still didn't use any reference images, but I found he was starting to have some model-esque eyes, so I went with this for now. It looked neat anyways. Fixing up what is known as the lacrimal car uncle. Who knew the eye had so many parts? Go ahead and google it. It's crazy. fun part of this design was the teeth. I always find a character has more oomph with a good set of teeth. I started out with a basic ring shape for the gums and then added an insert cube for a tooth. I then did a basic design for the shape and then duplicated the tooth easily with the translate move rotate tools. I 
I turned off symmetry at this point. I didn't want the teeth to be a mirror image on the other side. Reshaping the ring mesh into a more pleasing gum shape. And then removing one side and re meshing to close off the open ends. Adding the teeth to the model and then doing a duplicate and making top teeth. Reshaping the ears now. I shrunk them down because I felt they were a little too big for his head. And this is where I pulled out a mirror and started shaping them in a rough direction of what my ears looked like. Fixing up the eye folds. I think I had a general idea, but I'm going to work on the eye design a bit more. Maybe on a separate video I'll go into further detail so I can use them for future designs. For the main skin details, I kind of messed around with different spray designs, adding light skin, some dark areas, and then using different textures. As well, I played around with the surface noise option, but I wasn't too happy with the overall result. I thought I'd try out the basic skin mat caps, lowering the intensity and also playing with the material settings themselves. It worked out pretty good. Eye design is fun. There's so many different ways and colors to design an eye. I started out with some basic blue colors and a bit of green around the edges of the eye. And then I used myself again as a reference image for the final design. adding some color to the teeth and gums. When I wanted to add color to this area, I stumped myself because I had made the teeth as one full set with the gums. So I wanted to separate the teeth. I eventually found that using the polygroups panel and the option group by normals worked out perfect. When I did this, it made the teeth a separate polygroup apart from the gums. So I hid the gums and then group visible and now I was able to work with just the teeth. Now for everyone's favorite part, hair design. Again, so many options that you can have fun with this. So to give this character some flair, I gave him some nice short hair, sideburns, and a nice brush all over.
and here's our final result. I hope you enjoyed this process. Character designing is always fun. There's so many ideas and ways to get creative. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, throw a comment down or question if you have anything you'd like me to go over, and subscribe for more fun and creativity. Bye for now!